Hey guys, I'm here with the new Acura Integra Type S and holy smokes, it's been an amazing week. I can't wait to share more of my thoughts with you as I drive this thing around, rip it around some corners and just enjoy it. This is such a fantastic car, guys. You gotta go check it out. It's worth just every dollar. It looks amazing, it sounds amazing. Acura has killed it with this. So let me show you around and take you for a drive. Okay, here it is. And holy cow, it looks so good. Wow, like it is so wide and so cool looking. I adore this thing. I don't love the white necessarily, but it still looks really cool with all of the black plastic, the huge air ducts, that grill that's like shooting at you, the wide body, those wheels, the Brembo brakes. Oh, it's so cool, guys. This is such a rad car. And I definitely think that extra carbon fiber spoiler on the rear is worth it. But just look at that. Wow. Like, it looks so cool. You got to hand it to Acura and Honda right now. They're doing some, like, really cool things. And, <laughs> yeah, this car's got a lot of hype. And I got to say, deservedly so, it's phenomenal to drive. And, yeah, it's only front-wheel drive. But as I'll mention and show in my driving impressions, uh... You can't really tell most of the time and it handles like exceptionally well and uh, go check it out. You're really not going to be disappointed. So coming into the interior, you're treated to a very cool interior. This red looks more bright on camera than it really is. It's kind of almost more maroonish, but I love it. Love the red in there with the Alcantara. These seats are phenomenal. They're a little stiff back here right underneath your bottom, but you kind of get used to it. And I think they're great. Like I would happily spend many hours in them on a road trip. You've got the awesome ELS studio stereo, which everybody raves about and it is excellent. And then of course you've got your digital gauge cluster, your driving modes, your awesome six speed, delightful. One of the best on the market, if not the best. And I've driven some really good ones. It's exceptional. And overall, the front is just such a nice place to be. Same for the interior in the back. Like, here I am, sitting behind myself. Headroom's not amazing, but legroom is good. You're, you know, I'm five foot nine. My hair is definitely brushing up against the roof. But, you know, two adults can fit back here just fine. Obviously not three, because you've got cup holders in the middle. Please give us some center air vents in the rear. That'd be great. And lastly, this is technically a hatchback and your hatch storage is really good. Fold those seats down, put your bike in here, put your gear in here. It's very practical, very cool. All right, so just starting off guys, I just gotta say this. I was, I was honestly very skeptical of this car. You know, being front wheel drive with all this power, I thought, I don't know, there's gonna be a lot of torque steer, which there's still a little bit. It's not quite perfect, but it's really good. Here we go. Woo, there's some wheel spin. <laughs> oh my gosh. But after just a short time in this car, and here we go around some corners. Oh, I can only imagine if this was all wheel drive. But you know what? Like 90% of the time, you can't tell that it's front wheel drive. Woo, that's fun, it's fun. <laughs> Oh, all of that skepticism has just melted away and in its stead is complete and utter adoration. It has been a while since a car, if you take away the Wrangler Rubicon 392 that I tested and fell in love with, this has brought the joy. <laughs> of driving it's so freaking fun guys this is an excellent car i mean woo! acura honda has nailed it with this thing it's so much fun to drive like it it honestly feels pretty well perfect the driving experience mm, is exceptional here in the individual mode which is the most genius thing ever I think I've got the steering in Sport, I've got the engine response in Sport Plus, but the suspension in Comfort 
and this is just the perfect daily driver like going around town so much fun merging on the interstate a blast <laughs> the sound is actually so cool and the exhaust is better in this than it is in the Civic Type R which is so awesome the wide body it looks so so good uh, but wow I mean the handling is truly excellent especially considering it's front-wheel drive like I'm blown away at the engineering that went into this and it's so just deeply rewarding and I don't expect I'm well and I'm not a I'm not an expert driver <laughs> I just really enjoy driving I'm definitely an enthusiast but you know I'm not out in the track really but this is so fun like it's so fun guys and uh, we'll just keep taking this up for a minute here but the suspension is just just right you know it's not it's not here in the comfort mode it's really good all right so I could go on and on but just this thing is <laughs> it is so much fun and it's so good and it is really as good as people are saying in fact I think it might even be a little bit better than what people are saying I mean this is an awesome car but I feel like maybe it hasn't had quite all the attention that it definitely deserves so I'm gonna turn around here aside from that uh, let me just say like I mean this is like the perfect package yeah it doesn't have all-wheel drive but it's very comfortable these seats are great they're a little stiff on the bottom cushion but you get used to it and I could spend all day in these seats um, the back seat tons of space you can fit two adults back there and have them be very comfortable the hatch is very practical the visibility is excellent and guys it's easy to drive like anybody could get behind the wheel of this thing and have a really good time and just have a nice pleasurable experience whether it's commuting to work or you know going down a little back road like I am now <laughs> uh, the buttons make sense the infotainment's easy to use the wireless Apple CarPlay the heated seats you can get an optional heated steering wheel which I think is a must if you live in the cold like we do here in Utah for half the year and all those things together heads-up display the amazing ELS stereo uh, for 50 grand done I'm all in seriously 50 grand buy it and be happy you know you're gonna have to get some winter tires because these ones they're great they're super sticky but they're gonna kill you in the winter if it gets cold so you're gonna want to get some winter tires and probably a different set of wheels but with that you know that that being said 50 grand I would do this all day long like honestly <laughs> this is so good I would own this car I want to own this car I don't know if the timing's right for me um, or the garage space for that matter but someday I think I could definitely see myself owning one of these because it's very awesome uh, downsides uh, just they're small and they're kind of just like practical things but uh, the front lip this car is low okay it's and I've done my best I've tried my darndest not to scrape that front lip but it's like impossible not to scrape like all the time and you can't see it like it's all underneath uh, but still it's like really hard not to scrape it so just take things at an angle take it slow but just know you're gonna get that front lip scraped up a lot Woohoo! God, it's so fun another thing too and it's probably just these tires but they're so sticky that they do a really great job of keeping track of the road like literally they like they just track like little small pebbles and debris a lot so you can like hear them hitting under night underneath and uh it i mean the car's fine but it's just something you're gonna have to you know be aware of and like i don't really know how you avoid it but um yeah it kind of kicks up a lot of stuff and lastly like really the only drawback and it's not even a drawback like it's still good it doesn't get like the best fuel economy and in fact I think the trip computer is a little generous here but uh, it says I've been averaging 25.7 which is great like I'm totally fine with that but 
uh, when I when when I was at 230 miles, the gas light was on, and I had to actually put more gas in it. The gas tank supposedly is 12.4 12.4 gallons, um, but it seems smaller. And so just be prepared if you're having fun, you know. And I've I've done a lot of commute. I've done a lot of commuting in this as well. So I'm sure if I was just like you know. 50 50 highway around town i'd be closer to like i don't know 21 or so you're probably going to be filling up more than what you're probably expecting that said hey it's so good to drive i don't know if you're really gonna care so and lastly very very last thing that i just remembered there's no rear air vents there's got to be rear air vents like for the kids for whoever sits back there Acura, please put in some rear air vents. Other than that, guys, this car is so superb. You will love it. <laughs> so if you have any question in your mind, uh, just go buy it. Like, Acura is, this is probably one of the best cars, if not the best car they've ever made. And it's just, it's on the market right now. I think just smiles per dollar this might be at the top of the list like it's 50 grand for a brand new acura that's so practical it looks awesome like all of it brimbo brakes uh done like sign me up anyway let me know your thoughts in the bottom and in the con in the bottom in the comments and uh we'll talk to you later thanks guys